Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial with EC QuickBooks Training. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to upload transactions into QuickBooks Online from a CSV file. So let's get started. After downloading your file from online banking um, as a CSV file, there are a couple things that you need to do to the CSV file. QuickBooks will not allow you to upload more than three columns um, into the banking feeds. So I need to get rid of some of the rows and some of the columns in the CSV file. I'm going to delete any unnecessary columns. Usually I just leave the posting date because I do need a date and I leave the description. So this CSV files from a Bank of America's um, credit card. So usually it comes with all kinds of information for the um, credit card transactions. I'm going to delete this ID, this reference ID. I don't need that. And I'm going to delete these other columns I don't need. I only need three columns, so I will leave the posting date, the description, and the amount. Now um, let's go into QuickBooks and let's upload this file. So here in QuickBooks under Banking Transactions, there is um, a button here to the right that says Link Account and click on the drop down arrow. Here you can click on Upload from File. Then we need to select our file and click Continue. You want to make sure when you save um, your three columns and that file is continued to save as a CSV, not an Excel file. QuickBooks will not accept an uh, Excel file. It has to have .csv. Then you need to select the account that you want to upload these transactions into and click continue. And QuickBooks um, asks us to just review a couple of questions. And the first row in the file is a header. Yes, it is. And um, how many columns show amounts? Just one column. And we want this format of the date. Moving on down, um, we have the fields. So the date is the posting date. That's what my CSV file has. Description is the description and the amount, the amount. And I don't have any check numbers. I'm going to select continue. And at the top, we can see um, that we can uh, reverse the values. Now, if we put a positive into QuickBooks Online, it's going to be like as a payment to the credit card. Remember, this is a credit card. If it was a checking account, it would be like a deposit into the checking account. So I need to have it, um, these transactions be taken out. So I'm going to uh, click on reverse all values to make them negative. This is actually a new feature in QuickBooks. Before I had to make the amounts negative before uploading the CSV file. So this makes it, it really easy just to convert the positive numbers to a negative. And I'm looking at all these transactions. And when the payments are coming into that credit card, it makes them um, a positive because they were actually negative. I'm going to select all the transactions that I want to upload and click continue. And it's saying, do you want to import? I'm going to say yes. And the import is complete. And that's how you upload your transactions into QuickBooks Online from a CSV file. <music> 